hi lovelies welcome to the channel so guess what finally at long last I have a project life process video for you so I did not realize it had been so long since I'd put up a project life video so basically what I do is I'm on the Kidaholic Kids design team and every month I do my four projects and I always do project life for one of them well, this is my week four project life for this year. So if you figure that out, that's less than, that's one project life spread a month. And yes, I'm doing it weekly. So I'm very far behind. But I just find that I just, I haven't had the time or, or okay, that's probably wrong. I should be making the time. But what it is, is it takes me twice as long to do a project life spread than it does to do a 12 by 12. So if I want to put up a video for my channel, therefore the voiceover takes me twice as long and I find that I tend to avoid it. So I have counteracted the problem. I have decided to start doing my project life videos in two parts. So instead of doing the left and the right, I'm just going to do one page at a time. And that is good news because it means one of two things. It means firstly, twice as many project life videos. Yay! But it also means that I don't have to try and edit and upload a half hour video and try and condense it to make it viewable because no one wants to sit and watch it for half an hour. So, as you can see, eight minute video and we have a Project Life video up. So I'm hoping this will be much more enjoyable for everyone. It will be for me because it means I will finally get my Project Life done. So I'm really hoping to start cranking out my project life and get caught up because I really do enjoy doing project life. I have so many photos and I really want to get them in my album. So I'm starting with my title card and this turns out to be one of my favorite title cards. I do love how this turned out. If you've watched any of my project life videos before, I either love my, my title card or I hate it. It either works for me or it doesn't. In this case, it worked really well for me. What I'm doing with this spread is I'm just using random things on my desk. I'm trying to use up my stash more. And I have a whole bunch of handmade embellishments that have been sent to me, uh, enamel dots, all sorts of leftovers from kits, just sitting on my desk. So I thought I'd try and dip into that and to use it all up. So that's what I'm doing. Everything I've pulled except the cards is from um, my desk, just my stash on my desk. I don't generally use many cards. I generally have seven 4x6 photos and 6 to 7 uh, 3x4 photos. So I usually end up with a filler card, which is what I'm doing now. Um, I got these cards from the picturesque edition, Project Life edition. I have so many core kits, I really need to use them more. So I just pulled out the, ran the nearest kit and um, pulled out some cards. So I'm trying to really get into my stash and use my supplies. I have some great supplies and I really need to use them more. So this is my filler card. It's just a simple little card with script um, writing in the shape of a love heart. And then I pulled off my favorite um, phrase stickers. Uh, where are they from? Flutterby Designs. And they have some really, really um, quirky uh, phrases on them. So that's why I like them. I use them a lot in my art journal as well. But on this one, I think I've just put um, my circus, my monkeys, and I cannot remember what the other one was. But yeah, it was just something really cute. So just a quick filler card. On this picture of Koopy, during, this is during the school holidays, back in January. That's how, that's how far behind I am. Uh, we went fishing one day. Koopy, uh, when his brother is at preschool, because he still goes during the holidays. Cooper and I spend a, a day doing something, usually going to the movies or doing something fun. So we went fishing. We had a picnic, uh, hot chips down by the, the river, and um, went fishing. So this is, that was a picture of my boy Yes, with his fishing gear ready to go. So that was the last picture. The picture I'm working on now is a picture of Will and I at preschool after I'd picked him up for the day. Um, in the foyer of his preschool, they set up a display every week and it changes theme, varying different things. And they have books and toys and things for the kids. And uh, this week it was an underwater theme and they had a book. Now, Will is a massive shark fan, loves anything to do with sharks. So he saw a shark on the cover and we had to sit down and read the book. And Daddy snapped a quick pic for me, so yeah, just enjoying that story time with him after preschool. So all I've done is, um, oh, that's right, what happened with this photo is I got stuck in my picture, mate. Uh, as it was printing, it hit a box and it couldn't come out all the way, so the very bottom of the photo, it sort of printed over itself, if you understand what I mean. So instead of wasting it and throwing it out, what I did was I just cut it off 
and made it smaller which is why it wasn't 4x6 so I had to mat it on a card. That worked for me so I just trimmed down the photo, found a 4x6 card I liked and yeah um, just added some journaling to it and there you go, problem solved. So I love to use bling and enamel dots. If you've watched any of my videos, I tend to use them on just about anything. So I have a nice little pile on my, okay, I have an entire container full, but my ones that I use the most sit in a little pile on my desk. So I'm just pulling from those. These are those fray stickers that I love the most. These are my absolute favorite. I really need to get some more of these, but they're really cool. So I'm just pulling, going through these. Now this is a picture of my afternoon tea one day. Um, I was noticing that I hadn't taken many photos for the week and thought I really have to remember to take some more photos. So I was sitting down with my afternoon tea. This is when I was, you know, really paying attention to my um, carb ratio. And I'm, I'm a diabetic, so I do have to pay attention to things like that. And um, yeah, my diabetic educator was really, really stressing my levels and making sure I was watching my ratio and things like that. So I was, you know, Having a very, very healthy afternoon tea, so I've got muesli and some crackers and things and my bottle of water. So I snapped a photo of it. And I think I've, I've made a little paper banner and I wrote healthy eating. And then some of those phrase stickers, and this is why I love these phrase stickers. Um, one of them says bugger that. <laughs> so I've just put that on there because, you know, I thought it was funny. So yes, that's just another little random snapshot into our week. If you've seen any of my Project Life videos in the past, you'll know one of my favourite ways to add journaling about my photos is to literally write on the photos. And my favourite way to do that is to cut up some strips of white cardstock, write my journaling on it and then stick it straight to the photo. And that's what I'm doing here, I'm just writing about how Kippy and I went fishing that day. And I've just noticed how really bad my hands look. So the story behind this is, I am an art journaler. Yep. I do a lot of painting, a lot of anything messy, and I'm right there. So this was done last night, and before this I had done three art journal pages and a page in my 100 day project, so I was very, very inky, very messy. And it tends to stay for like that, like my nails now still even have blue and um, uh, black and pink paint, so yeah. so. Excuse that, but you know, it's the sign of a true crafter or a true artist if you ask me. Messy hands. So as I always do, I'm jumping between all my cards, going back over some, adding a few things to others. I never finish one until my entire spread is finished. I jump from one to another. Just adding a few last bits and pieces, generally uh, enamel dots or bling. And then I've noticed that this card, this photo of my husband has nothing on it and I really wanted to put something there. So I found a few more random stickers that I like put them on there and then that's it for my wall well, for this half of the spread so I hope you really like this new format and I hope you um, agree with my thought process on that so I will be back very soon with the other half of this spread thanks for watching and I will see you real soon bye